This might be a small batch whiskey, but it is not small on flavor. This week I'm looking at the Teeling Small Batch Blend. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Matt. I'm a whiskey nerd, and like I said, this week I'm looking at the small batch blended whiskey coming from Teeling. So let me get this into the glass, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Now this is, as I said, a small batch blend from Teeling. So it is a blend of malt and grain whiskies. It's a ratio of about three to one of the grain whiskey to malt whiskey. Now Teeling themselves aren't able to produce any grain whiskey in their distillery. They don't have any column stills. So I believe the grain whiskey in this is sourced from the Cooley distillery, but the malt whiskey, I think they're making it themselves. But they are adding a nice spin on this whiskey because they have finished it in Caribbean rum casks. Now, if you're familiar with Irish whiskey, you'll probably be familiar with that kind of classic bourbon cask aging and sherry cask finishing combination. That's just kind of become the standard or kind of classic Irish whiskey production. But for Teeling, what they've done is they have matured the whiskey in bourbon barrels, yes, but then they finish it for up to 12 months in Caribbean rum casks. Now, I say up to 12 months. The bottle says it's been matured for six months in rum casks, but the website says up to 12 months. So since the bottle is a bit more definitive, I am gonna say six months is how long this spent in those Caribbean rum casks. Now, Teeling haven't specified where this rum cask is coming from. They do have a long-standing partnership with the Plantation Rum Distillery, so it might be coming from there, but they haven't said where it's coming from, so I can't tell you for certain. What I can tell you though is that this is actually a really nice combination. It adds some different notes and some different flavors to it that you would normally see in Irish whiskey. And Teeling are kind of doing that with their whole range, like their blended whiskey, yeah, it's uh, bourbon barrels and then rum casks, but then you have their single grain whiskey, which is finished in wine casks, their single malt whiskey, which is finished in five different types of wine casks, their peated whiskey, it's finished in Sauternes wine casks, and you have their postel whiskey, which is just that classic bourbon and sherry cask aging. So in this way, Teeling, even though they're a newish distillery, they are making their whiskies stand out from the crowd that little bit. So even though they are kind of sourcing their grain whiskey that goes into this blend, they're putting a different twist on it and making it as something different that you can't get anywhere else. But this week, this is the whiskey we're talking about, their flagship whiskey, it's their small batch blend. So we'll see them for the nose and we'll see how it is. Okay, immediately I'm greeted with brown sugar on the nose. It's nice, it's rich, it's dense. You're gonna get that brown sugar note coming through from the malt. You're also gonna get through from those rum cask finishing. And then because there's a nice proportion of grain in here, that's also gonna layer a nice bit of sweetness. So up front, really sweet on the whiskey, but then coming behind that, you've got some nice kind of floral notes, maybe kind of like an orange blossom. Mm. There's also some nice bit of spices in there. You've got vanilla, you've got maybe a little bit of cinnamon coming through. It's just nice, it's sweet. There's a nice, just kind of rounded out sweetness to this whiskey. It's not just leading with sweetness and following with sweetness. It's sweetness, but then there's spices behind it. There's vanilla behind it. There's a bit of floral note in there as well. Mm. And as I sit with a bit more, I'm getting maybe kind of, maybe orchard fruit notes. I wouldn't say it's like a pear, I wouldn't say it's like a green apple, it might be like the kind of flesh of a red apple. Not a very sweet red apple, just that kind of nice, kind of light apple flavor you get from some red apples. Mm. So it does have a nice kind of rounded out profile. So let's go in for the palate and see if that rounded out profile delivers. Okay. On the first sip, you're again greeted with sweetness up front. But then as soon as I swallowed, I had a nice bit of citrus, not orange citrus like I was getting on the nose, more like a kind of a lemon citrus. A little bit sharper, a little bit kind of brighter, a little bit kind of more cutting through the rest of the flavors. And that was a nice bit of a surprise. There's also more of those spices, more of that kind of cinnamon flavor. The vanilla is there too. I'm definitely tasting more vanilla as it's going on. And just a nice kind of rounded out pro profile. Again, very sweet, so I'm gonna go in again for a second sip and see what else I can unpack. Okay, second sip, I got some of the malt coming through. It's a nice, it's not very malty, it's not gonna be overly malty. There's no way you're ever gonna con confuse this for like a single malt whiskey, but there is a nice kind of maltiness in there. At the 
a kind of roundness, like I was saying. It's a nicely rounded whiskey. Like I keep coming back to that kind of descriptor because it's not just leaning in one direction and following through there. You got your sweetness, but then you got spice pulling from a different direction. You got a bit of citrus, but then it's pulling back. So it's nicely rounded out. It's delivering a good bit of flavor, and it's, it's just a nice, easy to drink whiskey. So I'm gonna go in for the finish now. I'm gonna see which of those flavors hang around and if it's able to maintain that balance in the finish. Okay, as it's finishing, the sweetness, that caramel note, that fades away. It allows the maltiness to come forward much more, much more kind of apparent. Then you get that vanilla, like a vanilla bean or a vanilla pod. Not the artificial vanilla flavor, but like that nice, rich, real vanilla. And then beneath it all, there's a nice bit of oak. Like I was getting maybe a little bit of oak in the palate, but not enough really to talk about, but it's definitely becoming more apparent here in the finish as those other flavors fade away as that maltiness that richness fades away you're left with a nice kind of tingly almost drying oak spice in terms of fruitiness on the finish i'm not really getting a huge amount of fruitiness i'm not really getting that apple hanging around i'm not really getting any dried fruits you normally get with a whiskey it's more leaning into that sweetness and that spice on the finish all in all this is a really nice whiskey. I mean, it's very approachable, it's very friendly, it's very easy to drink. It is coming in at 46% alcohol by volume, so it's gonna be more than your standard Irish whiskeys. It's definitely more than your Jameson, but it's gonna just give you that little bit more flavor. It's gonna give you a little bit more of a depth. The 46% probably gives you a nice rich mouthfeel that was probably contributing to the fact that I could taste a lot, despite this being a blended whiskey. It also goes really well in cocktails. I have made a lot of cocktails with the Teeling Small Batch. Because it's at 46% ABV, it does kind of cut through other ingredients you use. And because it's got that nice sweetness, that richness, that density on the palate, it does deliver a nice experience when you're making a cocktail. If you like Irish whiskeys, or if you like making cocktails with whiskey, I would definitely recommend the Teeling Small Batch. It's a really, really good whiskey. I mean, I don't even know how many awards it's won. It's won a lot of awards. It's also very approachable at a price point. It's not too expensive, but for that price, you're gonna get a nice bit of flavor, you're gonna get a nice bit of ABV, and you're gonna get a nice kind of different profile, a different palette, a different finish than you would get on a standard Irish whiskey like Jameson or something like that. Have you had the Teeling Small Batch? If you have, let me know. Let me know how you prefer it. Do you prefer it neat or do you prefer it in a cocktail? And if you've had the other whiskies in the Teeling range, let me know like which one would be your favourite or if you've managed to get any of their special editions because some of their special editions have been really, really good in the past. I put out new whiskey reviews every Wednesday and cocktail recipes every Friday. So if you want to see more like this, you know what you need to do. You need to hit that subscribe button. It's free, I swear. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help out the channel. I'm going to keep on enjoying this whiskey. And until next time, sláinte.